Hey there guys, this is Mario Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Chron Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we found out that the reason why this world is kind of desolate is because this thing called Lavos destroyed the world in 1999. Lavos destroyed the world. And now, since we apparently have the ability to change the past with time travel, we're gonna change the past and kick Lavos' ass! Yeah! And I forgot to tell us stuff. Watch! Well, what did you discover? This is our future. What? Death? No. Who cares? Where's the food? This is all we could get. Wait, so all we found out was about Lavos and seeds. That's a pretty pointless, you know, um, mission, wasn't it, huh? You didn't know how long the Enertron will hold out. Those seeds might be your only hope. Yes, yeah, so... Okay, fine. You have to stay alive, and so do we. So, like I said, the mission we were just in... Or just completed. The, I guess all we that came out of it was we learned that Lavos destroyed the world, and now we know our new mission. Our ultimate mission of the game. And we gave him a seed, of course. Huh. You're strange. You're different from us. I think it's because we're healthy. I like this song. This little desolate song that's playing right now. Healthy... Got a nice ring to it. We'll try going to seeds. What are those? Seeds, aren't you paying attention? These just might be our future. Oh, come on, really? What comes out of a gun? Injustice! The tools of cowards and criminals! Heading for Proto go by way of Laboratory 32 and take this with ya! Not you, but ya! And we get a bike key, which we will need in order to make the journey through Lab 32 much easier. And kind of fun too, considering how they have more powerful robots over there. Yeah, so... Did I sure to... Yeah, he is taking this time. FOREVER! See where I... More about the death peak. Hey, move out of my way, mister! So I'm gonna go into the Enertron and heal up. Like right now. Restored, but you're still hungry. And guess what? So are you! But be sure to stay healthy. Who are you? I am your father. No, not really. But on my way back, I leveled up. You know, fought a lot of those monsters. And Moral learned her next tech, Provoke. Which is a nice way to confuse enemies, but I barely use it, so... Screw it! That's why I kind of, you know, didn't feel like the need to capture me learning the tech on screen. Anyway, so, now that we've learned that the world is going to be destroyed by- Oh, this is a new- this is the time period we're in. We're in 2300 AD. About... 200 years, you know, from now. No, 300 years. Come on, do your math. But yeah, we've learned that, you know, we have a new mission in this game. To stop Lavos. What's the first thing to do? Side quest time! We're going into the sewer, where you don't need to go. For the story. I mean, we will need to go through this sometime, but now I'm just going through it because, you know, it's beneficial because... Oh, crap. I didn't... I meant to go right first, but that's okay. I can just fight these narrow... Uh, these, um... Um... Can I slash these? No. These narrides. Narrades. Whatever. Sea creatures. Very annoying sea creatures who can use bubble and... Thunder. In other words, they freaking kick your ass for such sea creatures that are you're not dead yet? Die! Thank you! Why am I why am I voice going like do this? <laughs> but seriously, just die. Maybe we have to have some flame fish for tonight. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys! Well, it is back on the menu. You got a critical hit, son. I'm not your son. I am your whatever. So there we go. This is the place I want to go. Oh, fine. Another battle. So, Edgar Allan Poe and Nereids, or whatever. Oh, there we go. We have a... That one Edgar and Nereid, or Nereids, are in a straight line, so why not? Take advantage of that. And we play stop attacking me! Hey! Oh. Nereid, use thunder. It's super effective. I wish it's not, but unfortunately it was. But... Wait, dude! Focus, Luca, focus! 
So as I was saying, pretty much the main point in going through this part of going through the sewers right now is to get some items. Some, you know, helpful items that'll help us out. And, I mean, not a whole lot of items that'll help us out, but like, you know, some bonuses. And I'm going to show you something interesting that'll be relevant later on, but it'll be very... Well, later on, but it'll be very confusing right now. But it's kind of interesting to show right now. There's a bridge here! I saw it! Leave it! Full! Negative! There's nothing here! But, but it's you! Leave it! Someone's coming! Let's come! Leave it! That is my universal frog voice. Although, it's not the voice for frog. It's the voice for just frogs, like, you know, Don't hit him! Ah, don't hit him! It's been so long! And, you know, Singing in the rain! I'm singing in the rain! You remember those from Majora's Mask and Ocarina Time Master Quest? Promotion! Promotion! I've got a bad feeling about this. What is this? Star Wars or Star Fox? I've got a bad feeling about this fox. Be careful, it's a trap! It's a trap! Okay, I'm just making like just random, you know, Star Fox and Star Wars references that I didn't even pay attention to the note. I'm sure it's nothing important. Ooh, a kitty! Oh, crap, monsters! Okay, so... The point of this area is if you make any noise, then enemies will attack you. Like this, if you kick a can into a bucket, then these narrates will attack you. So why not? Let's fight. Man, those narrates is um thunder attack kicks the lightning kicks ass. So thankfully, Luca, I mean Moro is the white mage. We see will you please stop confusing Moro and Luca? Ooh, cheese. Let's eat it. Hello, rat. Oh, crap. Monsters. More monsters! I remember the first time I came through this place in my first playthrough. Um, I was overleveled since I came at a later time in the game. Hey! That's not, that's not a safe fort! Well, screw you! And the horse you rode on in! But yeah, um, like I said, the first time I played this game, um, I came here at a much later time in the game that I was overleveled, that this place was no challenge at all. Now, since I'm at, a, at an appropriate level, since I guess you're expected to come here now as well, it's kind of kicking my ass a little bit. A bit annoying. Mmm, barbecued fish. How does it, hello, I'm gonna fight you. Or not. Yeah, fine. Um, so... There's nothing over here. And... There's nothing here. Oh my gosh, whatever shall we do? Go through some secret passages! That open a door. That will open another secret passage, which is just... This platform going around, but obstructed from view. Yay for graphics and stuff. Yay! Press the switch and the bridge opens. Leave it! So, switch on, leave it! What is, it, what is it with you and Gribbits? Why not just Ribbit? Ribbit! Is that a rich? Ribbit! And the colors of a frog! Ribbit! Gribbit! Someone's coming! Let's go! Gribbit! Let's go! Don't hit him! Ah, it's hurting my throat a little bit. But whatever. Those frogs are fun to voice act. Right? Ooh, Rage Band. This is a cool accessory right here. Since this. It's, you know, it gives you a 50% you know, counter attack rate, so whenever an enemy kicks your ass, guess what, they can kick their ass in return. The three of them are almost here. Come into that sewer like they own it! They must have a death wish! We just teach them a lesson! Let's show them! <laughs> just let them come through here! They'll be Trump's liver! Wow, what the hell did that voice come? Where the hell did that voice come from? Oh! <laughs> Seriously, where did that where did that voice come from? What? I'm sure you. You do that. You do that. But yeah, I honestly don't know where that voice came from. But that sounded scary. So this is actually a a boss, Crawly. Crawly is a boss, except Crawly doesn't get his own boss music. Oh, don't do that. I mean, Crawly. I guess Carly doesn't get the boss music because he's easy. I mean, he. Yeah, you shit. You tell that asshole with a counter attack, critical hit counter attack. Yeah. In fact, first of all, Luca. Uh, I mean, Moral. Stop confusing Moral and Luca. They're different people. But yeah, this guy is kind of easy in that 
he's just easy. He's only the only threat is like this move that will reduce your HP to one, but then you can just kick his ass and heal and stuff. See, I mean, Crawley would have killed me, but I healed Chrono smartly, and Chrono just kicked his ass in return. It's kind of weird how this is not a doesn't have a, doesn't have a boss music since you know he explodes like a boss in psychedelic colors and covers Chrono's sprite a little bit with this dying silhouette of death. Goodbye! I will never use this voice again. Kind of sad. <laughs> that is a weird voice. Imagine if I did it with some sort of German accent. Like, do you know those characters Thorn and Thorn in Final Fantasy IX? You know, they go like, you know, uh, you know the ones with this music that was like, dun, you know, ones with the music theme like, that goes like, dun da da dun 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 I kind of think that, you know, this was, you know, I kind of imagine them having voices like, you know, you know, we must have a living state! And like, you know, have give them German accents in return, like, yeah! I don't know what lines they have. Like, kill him, must we? We must kill them! You know, those two uh, clowns. Then again, how many of you- Oh my god, Chrono's about to die! We must not let this happen! Thankfully, they're not targeting Chrono. And since I'm talking over this battle, why not? Wow, of it! Don't hit Chrono! Okay, thank you. Don't hit Chrono. That would be very tragic, wouldn't it, now? So, yeah, I kind of imagined that that would be a nice voice for Zorn and Thorn, but that is assuming that you even know what I'm talking about, since Final Fantasy IX is kind of a... It's kind of the underrated Final Fantasy game, I guess. I mean, Sp Splittle Infinitive is LPing it right now, doing a blind LP. And I'm actually trying to play through the game myself, and I'm liking it, but at the same time, I'm kind of stuck because... Not because it's hard, and no, it's, it's, it's an easy Final Fantasy game, but... I'm just stuck because I'm kind of bored. Like, ooh, Bolt Sword, nice. This is another reason why you want to come here. A better sword for Chrono. Except, no, the weapon doesn't have a lightning, you know, affinity or whatnot. This is a nice little shortcut back home. But yeah, um, like Final Fantasy IX, where I'm at right now, I'm at the point where the game is just boring me. Like, I'm just bored. Yeah, I'm bored. That's not a good sign for a, you know, a game to leave me bored. So this is the almighty death kick with the, you know, a power tab! But yeah, that's the problem. That's why I never finished Final Fantasy VI, because I got bored in the second half. Because it's, it's a boring second half, you know? Like, you have to save the world, I mean, you know, find your friends, but... Nothing... I don't know, like, just not a lot of... Final Fantasy VI was more exciting in the first half. I mean, it had the freaking opera scene, for example. It had, you know, a nice story building up, and then, like, and all of a sudden, like, all the story just goes, you know, thrown out of the window. And the story's just like, you know, oh, side quests, um, find all the characters, and, yeah, no direction whatsoever. Have fun! I mean, it is fun in that case, and it kind of shows non-linearity, but, yes. This is kind of a, in some interesting dialogue here, so. I am pleased to think me worthy, oh, wise one. I await your final program code. No. Now, don't go getting all emotional on me, critter. Back to work, now! Hmm, and this man has some interesting dialogue. Shala, I've missed you so. Shala? What the hell is Shala? No! You must not climb Death Peak! Whoa, I thought you were talking to yourself, and now you're talking to us? Unless you don't want to climb Death Peak. Wouldn't make it very far, anyway. It has to be the right time. Hey, the song kind of sounds French a little bit now. And they! I have to show you the way. Say! Did you see my masterpieces? The Ocean Palace and the Black Bird? No, I never heard of them at all. Our designer built them both. Cool story, bro. Anyway, so I'm gonna go back to... Uh... Well... The Aerist Dome area, so... Either I'll meet you back there, or I'll end the episode. Whatever. Actually, I might as well show you the little shortcut and, you know, how you can take advantage of it. So just cross this bridge and- oh crap, battle. But you're still hungry! Okay, so now that we're out of the sewer and back on track, like literally, we're back on track. Except for Luke and Moral. Girls, get it back on track! Girls! Girls! Thank you. Let's go to lap 32. Ooh, we got a mid tonic, nice. Ooh, a bike. 
Don't say we should use it. So let's use it. Yeah, let's rev it up. Hey, wait, what? Oh god, robots. Okay, you guys wanna fight? Bring it on, bitches! Bring it on! Wait, where'd the battle music go? Hold it right there! Wait, who is... Who are you? You look like somebody from Mega Man 7. Hey, it's... The, the man. man! Like, thanks for the intro, babe! Babe? The man! You love us can call me Johnny. Now this is not. Part of an old highway list through this ruins. Thinking we can beat me in this bike race? Use a jetpack and dunk chicken out, babe! Do you know the ride? Yeah, we do. I mean, I do. Probably you don't, but whatever. We'll ride this baby with this babe Johnny in the, in the next episode. So, see ya!